Only on two tonight, a family in Webster is turning to KPRC2 and social media, hoping someone recognizes this 27 foot trailer that you see leaving there behind that truck. They say it was stolen from a storage lot. They shared their plea for help with our Devin Clark, who is live outside the storage facility to explain why the family says the trailer has a deeper purpose than the thieves may even think of. Devin. Keith, the woman you're about to hear from says that trailer was stolen right from this eye storage lot here in Webster. But what's even worse is she says the thieves also robbed her disabled son of some of his hopes and dreams. We found out on Saturday and it's just been absolutely gut wrenching. This is footage that Asia Quint says shows the moments thieves broke into the ice storage lot on Old Galveston Road Thursday and left with their 27 foot toy hauler. We didn't even get a chance to ever use it and it's just it's been incredibly stressful on our family. The missing trailer intended for leisure had an especially important feature One, two, three, cheese. for their 15 year old disabled son. It has a ramp that comes down so um, for us, it, it was it was a great option because um, our son has a powered wheelchair. He could drive right up into there and then be able to access the living area. The multi-use trailer ran the family $21,000. We used our son's special needs trust, which is supposed to be, you know, for his benefit and just trying to think long term of how he can still continue to travel and go see the world. Now their planned trip to Montana is on hold as Quince hopes someone who knows something comes forward. She has a message for the thieves. I would just say that you know whoever or whomever stole this trailer just know that it, it wasn't just taken from you know a couple it was you really robbed a, a disabled child Quinn says inside of that trailer were some TVs, tools, and other personal items. She says the Webster Police Department is now investigating. But in the meantime, the family has set up a GoFundMe account to help recover some of those losses. And you can find that link on our website, click2houston.com. Reporting live in Webster, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.